Hey guys, it's Deli Strike for Zombies Intel, and in this video, we're gonna have a quick look at the gameplay trailer of uh, Inside Xbox. Years ago, I did research for a World War II movie. I came across some old Nazi documents. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Based on what information we managed to get from the trailers, we can already predict what the storyline for Call of Duty is gonna be. Um, it's easy to assume that George Romero just, yeah, like we just heard, uh, he found intel about, you know, Nazi experiments, Nazi stuff going on, uh, probably in the Arctic or something, decides to go shoot a film up there, and unfortunately, maybe he act he found some Element 115, maybe he turned on something, I don't know, but, you know, there's zombies, like, really old zombies that starts attacking him and his crew um, so obviously you see in the you see in the uh, trailer there's some zombies that are just normal civilians they have like normal clothes these are probably people who are part of the crew the filming crew that got infected by the zombie attacks now there's these types of zombies and the old zombies and they're all after the four actors they're probably the only ones that survived uh, they're getting attacked and that's pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's what's, what Call of the Dead is going to be about. Call of Duty Black Ops Escalation Map Pack is nigh, and it shall be yours starting May 3rd, first on Xbox 360. Escalation comes packed with four multiplayer maps, Convoy, Hotel, Stockpile, and Zoo. But we begin, my friends, in the dark. All right, here we have the Galil and the M72 Locks. Where an undead threat terrorizes a landmark event in the horror film genre. In the land of Black Ops horror film icon, George Romero has secured the talents of Fright Fest legends like Robert England, otherwise known as Freddy, Danny Trejo from Machete fame, Michael Rooker from Walking Dead, and of course, Sarah Michelle Geller from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now alas, things go terribly amiss and our actors must take up their arms in earnest. The new Zombies map, Call of the Dead, is by far the largest, most ambitious Zombies undertaking yet. Jimmy Zelinsky from Development... And here we have the AUG. ...just how they arrived at Call of the Dead. Everything in Zombies happens this way. It's like, you know, somebody will say one thing. Wouldn't it be great if we got this or that? And certainly in a conversation about new characters, you know, somebody's going to mention George Romero or Danny Trejo, and it just spirals at that point, you know. It just takes one spark for somebody to say something that just becomes something of this magnitude. Here we have a little scene where I think George Romero is just telling the actors what to do, like, in the next scene they're filming. No, jefe, I do it like this. Danny! It's a iced in shipwreck. You have lighthouse, you have really creepy environments. You have really long shots. Whenever we think of uh, creating zombie maps. So we have a new perk, but no one knows what it is yet. Looking at the little logo, it looks like it could be maybe something along the lines of steady aim, steady aim probe. We don't know yet, but looking at the video, it doesn't seem like the guy's shooting any differently. It doesn't seem like he's aiming faster. So we're gonna have to wait on that one. So we always kind of think of what style of gameplay are people going to run, are they going to hold. And we always try to lean a little bit one way or the other without completely removing anybody's gameplay. And in this map, we are going to highlight sniping. Uh, it's something that kind of harkens way back to the original map that was in. I don't know if it's of any importance, but the light changes in this picture and in the following scene. World of War, where there was a lot of sniping perches available. And this kind of goes back towards that, allowing people who love to snipe some really long and in this picture, we see the new perk, so it probably goes well with a sniper. Uh, we also have the new sniper, and if you look at the bottom right and really small, you see Matryoshka dolls. Vistas and some great advantages on shooting. And in this little picture, we see a little sign for the crossbow bolt, so the crossbow is going to be back in this level. Early. Come on, 
Some of the ways to get around the map in this one stray a bit further away from teleporters. We have zip lines. You're going to jump on the zip line. You're going to turn 360. You're going to shoot. Zombies are going to follow you. We have uh, a catapult, which we call the flinger. The flinger is just all around chaos. It's got a little time delay, so it kind of you know can trip you up. But at the end of the day, if you learn how to use it, it can be a very effective way to get rid of zombies, to get yourself out of trouble. And these are distances that you're covering that are... Now, notice that the zombies are taking the zip line even though you didn't take it. That probably means that they have to go all the way around to get where the player is right now. So that probably means that there's no direct connection between uh, where he is and the boat on the other side. They're just immense. I mean, being flung across the map. Of course, there's more to the setting than just the tower. So we have here what looks to be like a trap. The thing is, their money doesn't go down. So it's possible that it's not a trap and actually the new weapon because like we saw in the first trailer, the new weapon is going to shoot fire. So it's possible. We don't know yet. We're going to find out soon. Jimmy was also kind enough to offer a couple of tips for getting the most out of Call of the Dead. I would give a really vague tip, but it's very, very helpful. And that is just shoot everything. Just shoot everything. And if you do that, and you do that with a lot of different guns, you're going to find some really interesting things happen that you maybe weren't expecting. So what does this mean? It might be the new way to get to the Paco Punch because like in the Ascension trailer, they said that the uh, the landers might do something else, blah, blah, blah. So it's possible that shooting somewhere is going to open the new Paco Punch room. Or maybe it's the beginning of a new Easter egg that we're going to find like a huge one like in this Ascension. I really hope that they did that. I would certainly advise when coming up against George that you really kind of watch what he does. So this pretty much debunks the theory that George Romero is going to be the new boss. Uh, he's with you from level 1, so obviously the boss isn't at level 1. He's going to be with you during the whole time. He's going to be like a weapon. You have to use him carefully. Uh, I don't know yet how, but we're going to figure it out on May 3rd. But like the guy's going to say, uh, sometimes you might want to have to kill him. Uh, it'll all depend on the situation you're in. And you learn about the various ways to interact with him because there's not just one. You know, there's something for the people who have this instinct to kill him. Go for it. You know, it's going to work out in the end, hopefully. But there's also other ways that you can deal with him that don't necessarily mean wasting your ammo. So I would just watch him and learn how he operates. So obviously, where you are, it's cold. There's water. And water plus cold is not good for you. If you stay in the water too long, you're probably going to die. Like you see in the picture, uh, there's a kind of like a freezing effect that comes around you. Like when you're dying, it's red. So if you stay in the water too long, you're probably going to die. I don't know if it's going to affect the zombies. Like if they're almost dead and if they walk in the water, if they die. Uh, I guess we're going to see on May 3rd once again. And finally, don't forget just how important you, the community, are when it comes to influencing the design and evolution of zombies. We actually watch the forums quite regularly for a lot of our ideas and our inspiration and kind of what they're expecting. We don't always try to give it to them verbatim, but sometimes in a roundabout way or sometimes later than they expect. We'd like to thank Jimmy for taking the time to guide us through Call of the Dead. And now, we'll turn our attention to the multiplayer. The coolest thing. Some of that crazy happened right here. Alright guys, that's it for now. If you spotted something that we didn't talk about, just let us know in the comment section. We'll try to incorporate it back into the video, but uh, it's kind of hard. Uh, make sure to subscribe. On May 3rd, we're going to be the first ones playing that map. Uh, as soon as it comes out, we're going to stay up all night waiting for it. And uh, we'll have a gameplay of it the second we die in the game, so... Make sure to subscribe, like the video if you ever hit the video, whatever, do whatever you want. And that's it. Take care.